Hello and welcome back everyone. So as we know the teeth are more effective than oral mucosa in withstanding the forces over time. Because they have a stronger foundation and don't undergo resorption. And hence stressing the teeth for functional forces rather than the oral mucosa is the main goal for long term stability of the denture. Therefore, appropriate use of selected teeth for helping to resist the functional forces in the prosthesis is a very critical strategy to control the functional movement and in achieving functional stability. And as we also know that these selected teeth are known as abundments. Now in order to provide the most effective resistance against functional forces, the tooth must be stressed along its long axis rather than in any other direction. Because it is here where the mask and the bulk of the tooth is concentrated. So the denture frame should be fabricated in such a way that it directs the functional forces along the long axis of the tooth rather than loading at any other angle. So the rests are basically those components of the partial denture that have to perform this one main goal of providing axial loading. However, this may not always be possible. So some sort of tooth modification may be required in order to accomplish this main goal of directing the forces along the long axis of the tooth. So the rests are basically those components of the partial denture that provide the vertical support to the denture. They do this by diverging the functional forces applied onto the denture and directing them along the long axis of the abutment and hence providing resistance against functional chewing forces. Now if the rest were to place directly onto the tooth, it will never be able to seat in properly because the tooth naturally has contours and inclines on its surface. That will never allow the rest to seed in properly and to effectively perform the function of axial loading. And hence the surface of the tooth requires some sort of preparation in order for the rest to hold its place. And so this prepared surface on the tooth which is going to receive the rest is known as the rest seat. So the rest goes and sits inside the rest seat. And so the rest can be named according to the surface of the tooth that is prepared to receive them. If the rest seat is prepared on the occlusal surface, the rest will be known as the occlusal rest. If the rest seat is prepared on the incisal surface, the rest will be known as the incisal rest. And if the rest seat is located on the lingual surface, as in some cases, then the rest will be known as the lingual rest. There are also other types of rest like the proximal rest, the internal rest which will be discussed in my other lecture. But for now understanding the basic concept of rest and its design is crucial. So when placing a rest we need to make sure that the rest is on sound enamel or on any other restorative material that the tooth is filled with and that is proven to resist fracture such as an amalgam restoration. Placing the rest on enamel is important because if adequate oral hygiene is maintained then the rest when placed on sound enamel are not a harbor for new carious growth in the mouth. Hence prolonging the life of the abundment and the denture. Likewise rest seat preparation should also be on sound enamel in order to accommodate the metallic rests. So as we have discussed, the primary purpose of a rest is to provide vertical support to the denture. But apart from this, rest also accomplishes some other functions. They help in maintaining the positions of the components of the denture. Because like I've already mentioned, the rest is essentially locked in its position with the help of the rest seat. So this locking mechanism helps in maintaining the position of the other components of the denture. Rest also helps in maintaining the established occlusal relationships by preventing the settling of denture. This is accomplished by the same principle that the rest helps the denture to maintain its position by not letting it slip and move around in the mouth. Rest also prevents impingement of soft tissues by providing a stable contact with the tooth and not letting the denture go below the desired contact, otherwise it may have an impinging effect towards the gingiva. And finally, rest also directs and distributes functional loads to the abutment by effectively distributing functional forces along the long axis of the tooth. 
and thereby preserving the longevity of the remaining teeth and the denture itself. So in conclusion, the rest basically serve to direct the forces being applied onto the abundment and transfers those forces to the long axis of the tooth, where the tooth can easily withstand those applied stresses. Rests also provide support to the denture and prevent their movement towards the tissue by locking type of mechanism with the rest seat. So in order to have this degree of stability, just like the major and the minor connector, rests also need to be rigid as to not to allow any kind of flexibility or flexure in its design, which would otherwise definitely compromise its functional capabilities. The rests also must receive positive loading from the abutment teeth. Now positive loading basically means that under occlusal loading, when the denture is being subjected to functional loads, the rest and the tooth must remain in stable contact throughout. And no independent movement of either the denture or the rest should occur, which will otherwise cause slippage of the denture or something much more worse. So in short, to perform adequately, the rest needs to be rigid and also must receive positive loading from the abutment teeth. So in the end, just a side note, it is not necessary for the rest to be on a tooth as a part of the partial denture. An implant can also serve to function as a rest itself, as the occlusal loads will be directed along the long axis of the implant, and in turn providing vertical support to the denture. But since this is a lecture on the rest of the removal partial denture, therefore the topic of implant is reserved for some other lecture. For now, understanding the basics of rest and rest seats is our main goal. So I hope everything is clear in this video. Please stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones and goodbye.